My name is Lux. I'm a local graffiti street, just general artist around Brisbane. I, I work with kids um, also like in my practices, like with workshops and little school groups um, and different sort of mural projects like stemming from that as well. Various organisations contact me to do various workshops with kids, um, like for example like PCYC. Uh, Bench Espresso is a great little coffee shop uh, in, um, in West End at the back of Rumpet's Room. Uh, my affiliation with Bench is besides having great coffee, like I've done a whole heap of artwork for them. Um, uh, I'm helping out a mate because it's a good little mateship circle we've got like going on, a little creative circle. Street art and graffiti, you know, like can add colour and great colour to an urban environment because it, it sort of gives it life, I, I feel, you know, like, and that, that life sort of takes away somewhat like the sort of mundaneness and the dullness of sometimes what can be a, a boring urban environment. I was introduced into the world of graffiti um, way before the term street art came about. Um, break dancing and hip hop or rap music was sort of big at the time in Australia. So I was attracted to that and through, through that there was aspects focusing on graffiti as an art form and that really clicked with me um, because from, right from a young age I've been drawing coming into sort of hip-hop sort of break dancing culture like in the early 80s like I was exposed to graffiti did my first graffiti piece in 1988 <laughs> One, two, three, ho! Uh, I think that the government does sort of deter certain young artists from maybe experimenting freely in the streets. Um, here in Queensland, um, the laws stand pretty much at seven plus years uh, for graffiti, ten, ten years um, if it's an, on an educational premises and or obscene thoroughly or like a written word. Um, so that's here in Queensland. In in a state in the state of Melbourne um, and Melbourne City, for example, street art and graffiti are given a more more of a free reign. So the art form as such might be more welcoming to younger artists there, uh, creating more of a legitimate sort of professional understanding of the whole scene and culture, whereas somewhat here in Queensland, they make it hard even to pursue legal endeavours like with permission like for certain artists um, because you have to go around get permission letters, cops rock up, if you're looking a little bit seedy or something, what are you doing? It's almost easier to go do it illegally than it is legally sometimes. <laughs>